Hey guys, what's up? It's Shady's. Welcome back to Life is Strange. Last time we played... How the fuck are these niggas getting my number? Anyway, last time we played, we found out that Kate was on a viral Max, video. It's over here. She went to a party, got drunk or drugged, and Nathan took her to some place. We need to find proof that he actually hurt her or raped her or whatever. Fine. What are you doing here? Wow, well, nothing. Waiting? <laughs> you got fucked up. I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. Not really. I owe you. Yeah, oh, yes, up. you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend. Chloe Price, we haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I don't want him to get hurt anymore. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. No, he's You're not. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yeah. Yes, that's some. exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. I feel like in the future, I'm gonna say no. Probably something's gonna come up like it always does. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate or Rachel. Or Chloe. Wait, who's Rachel again? God damn it. We need a car.
prostitute that's killing me. 21, and I still didn't get rid of my wisdom, too. I mean, people tell me it's not mandatory, but this shit hurts like a motherfucker. Two wheels, diner. Oh, 24 hours. Where's Chloe's car? Talk about going back oh, in time. Shit. The diner looks exactly the same. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Really? It was like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. It might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay. If that tells you much. Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. But I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Mom. Oh yeah, her mom works here. You know how you know this? Because of the fucking trailer. Breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware. Then again, she was in the last episode. Makes That's me how feel I know 13 that she was again. Mom. I don't want to touch those strippers. Uh, mom, I want to grab a booth. I hate mustard. Lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. Hi, Joyce. You, no, you call her by her last <laughs> name, bitch. Like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're <laughs> still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man. He just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. Trust. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. I'm sure she does. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I, mean, I see it? why. Why? What did Chloe tell you? 
Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful, and he will be punished. <laughs> but <laughs> Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. That's no excuse to hit a girl. He's an adult. I don't like it either, Max. David swore it would never happen again. He's true to his word. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess, I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Everything on the motherfucking menu. A bacon omelet, Belgian waffle. I'll just get bacon, bacon. Damn, I don't like omelets, but I do like bacon. I do like waffles. Any mini money mo, catch a tiger by his tail if you want to let it go. Any mini money mo. I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. Bacon is twelve o'clock high. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. <laughs> that's actually not bad. Fried fish in the morning, that's too early. Big bacon, apples, apple sausage. Oh, okay, I thought I said apple sauce 325. I get the fuck out of here. Beverages, French orange juice, really French orange juice, tea. That's not bad. Precious cheeseburger, not bad. Starfish pancakes, half stars, not bad. Really, really, nigga. <laughs> so, what's for? What's for dinner, bro? Oh, I literally read that without even doing it. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. Oh my god. This that. is a diner, not a bar. No beer. Oh yes, black coffee. You will be mine. Stick with the bacon. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? Go to a bar. Ain't they one across the street? Timmy's liquor store is across the street. I can hear like, your <laughs> stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. How does that make her less? Speak Any less of the devil. Okay. Really, Nathan? Oh, this is her diary. Awesome. Oh, these drums are so f Oh my god, you see the shoes kick, flip, die, trying? Yo, that's fucking amazing. I would buy those. I would cop those shits like nothing bad. What the fluff? <laughs> okay. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire, smoking out. Oh, God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. 
And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Because you can oh, see the future. That's, it's a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Keys. Okay, still she has a car. Keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Please. A bullet. Just like your necklace. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. I have a bullet necklace, too. That was beyond epic fail. Wow, man, I didn't take my cigarettes. telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max, I'm hella ready. Your car keys. Duh, wait. Was it school rich boy? You definitely have a razor blade keychain. That was so wrong, Max. Oh, okay, yeah. psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. I did forgot. <laughs> I didn't see the school. That was beyond <laughs> epic fail. You can barely you see that. want to believe you. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. What the I'm fuck hella was ready. That? A your car key. Duh, way too easy. A skull keychain for a punk like you. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pocket. Bro. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Oh, I just wasted five years. You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. This is me telling. Okay, Max. I'm hella. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck call field. What else? I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Bra. Seven. Seven cigarettes. It's a lucky number. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Change. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? <sighs> 82 cents. I wish. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. If she has 25 cents, I swear. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. It was 82 cents. Are you dead? <sighs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. This is me telling you. Okay, Mac. I'm pretty sure you have. Yes, you know I'm a smoke. Seven. A superpower. Amazing. Do 
three quarters, 75, plus five is 80. Oh, it was 86. 86 Wait. cents. Did I, That's we right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. Your car keys. Duh, what? A cute rock. Not bad, Super Mac. You do have that Irish. A parking ticket. Don't you dare ask me a question. But what is the exact time I was busted? You can go fuck yourself. 11, 10 a.m.? It would be that 6 o'clock in the so morning. That is so wrong. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's acting. It, it, oh, my God. Okay, Max. It was 6 o'clock in the morning. every item carefully and Ten? don't forget anything. You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. I'm gonna kill this girl. Wait, hold on one second, yes. Okay, Max. I'm pretty sure. Yes, you know. Clearly, I'm. Eighty. That's right. So. A part. You know. Ten thirty-four a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. What does the hell that means? Your car keys. Duh. What? A cute rope. No. Finally. God. Amaze balls. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Wait, what did Very you eat? Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like a wolf. Clearly. Oh, man, I'm so hungry. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. You're gonna kill me, I bitch. will predict the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next... 30 seconds or so. <coughs> the trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. Max, no, you said that you not. would predict four events. We're nowhere near that. that. That didn't happen. Wait. Wait, that didn't happen. She doesn't remember. Oops. Dude, Did you, you right? break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take his call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Wait. I'm going to predict... The trucker drops his mug and... So, what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and he quickly exits the diner. No, he doesn't. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. Yes, you still need to tell me one more event, Max. <clears throat> this is gonna 
take forever. Oops. Dude, Did you, you right. break another cup? Really? No oh, refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I think dick. not, Max. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. The trucker drops his mug. So, what happened? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and he answers it. Well, let's just. Justin and Trevor are fine. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. I... Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck. Oops. Dude, Did you right. break another cup? Really? No oh, refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? I think dick. not, Max. Me, bitch. That's what Take the fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Oh, that actually does happen. Fucking A. This is sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. Okay, bitch. It's the last fucking time. I'm going to predict... Four <coughs> the trucker drops his... So, what happened? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just... <coughs> Justin and Trevor. This is getting good. The jukebox goes pretty bizarre. Of course. <sighs> Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. He's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that. Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened. Grow up. Wow. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Really? Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. <sighs> uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? <laughs> hey, are you blow. okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. No. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Oh, Chloe yeah, finally believes me. Oh, and I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the gameplay right here because it kind of prolonged for me, you know, trying to get everything right the way she wanted it to and all those fucking questions and shit. So thanks for watching. I'm gonna continue right into the next part in the next video. So comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys.